Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers, I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In, to, in uh, today's video I want to show you my craft room and how I organize my craft supplies because uh, yeah, we can all learn from each other the way you do things and maybe someone else thinks, hey, that's a good idea, I think that will fit me and uh, then they can uh, use that idea. Uh, I have to say I'm very organized because um, yeah, a, a messy craft room doesn't work for me because I just get ag agitated that it's uh, not clean and I only want to uh, go clean and organize. So yeah, that's not for me. Uh, what you see here, I just wanted to uh, leave it there. It's uh, maybe lots of you saw the video of Rose Hill Paper Cottage. She made a master board of all kinds of receipts and I really loved it. Uh, but I already cut up the master board in uh, pieces and I forgot to make a picture of it. But that's uh, for another project. So I can take these away. Uh, later on I'll uh, show you how you enter my craft room and the rest of the craft room and I'll go into uh, my storage solutions because I all uh, have everything in bins and organized so I can uh, reach it very easily. But later in the video you can see how it's stored in the in the closet and in the drawers but I, I can go into some detail because now I'm sitting down and I can take um, the containers out. Uh, for the ones who follow me, they already saw this uh, many times. When I take it out of the closet, it's right behind me, the, the closet. I just have to uh, turn myself and I can reach it. And that's why I made the setup in, uh, in the craft room like I did. Every this, These are my scraps and they're all sorted and in a plastic sleeve. These are all about A5 and this is uh, wrapping paper and script, all kinds of paper scraps, digitals or uh, scrapbooking paper, whatever I have, that script goes in this folder. Music, thin uh, craft color paper, all kinds of ledgers and receipts. Yeah, these are digitals, but there are vintage ones uh, inside here also. Dictionary, and I also uh, coded them. That's something I did recently uh, because I was constantly looking through. Oh, is this ledger or is this ledger? And yeah, it wasn't working for me. And yeah, because organizing and cleaning up is a hobby of mine. Not really cleaning, but uh, more uh, doing yeah, a real big clean up. That's something I like. The, the weekly cleaning is not my hobby, but... <laughs> uh, so I put, uh, with the label maker, I put what's in there on the plastic so I can uh, see it mo much more quickly. If you see it like this, you, you can already see how quickly you can find something. And uh, these two, because when you use scraps, there are uh, some things, yeah, there are too many of, the, it was too thick to fit in, a, in that small uh, A5. This also is called an A5 envelope uh, with Velcro uh, closure, but yeah, it's a, it's a bit bigger because you can store an A5 uh, yeah, note, smaller notebook inside. And these are all kinds of things I can use uh, to decorate pages. Uh, yeah, I made also the tape I show you later, uh, pieces of that. I made uh, paper ruffles, uh, in here is uh, wallpaper, 
scraps I uh, tea dyed, yeah, measuring tape, paper, all kinds of bits and bits and bobs I can use to decorate pages. And because it's not an image, it's really for just like a paper scrap for decorating. That's why it's in here. And in here are uh, uh, tea bags, new and uh, used ones, uh, tea dyed or plain, and uh, napkin. Napkin and just the, the white layers of the napkin because recently I used it sometimes and I really like it. And some tissue paper. I don't have that very much. And also the pattern paper for sewing. I don't have that a lot either, and that's all in here. All different, uh, uh, yeah, not really paper, but other materials you can use to start uh, building a page, uh, uh, building a, a base page uh, in your journal. So that's that container. And this container is mostly with the, um, the big envelopes, but these smaller ones are all flowers and because I wanted to sort them, uh, I have uh, smaller uh, plastic bags. Uh, yeah, in a way I made them myself. I'll go over the bigger ones. Also put this on again, for easily uh, finding things because yeah it, it uh, saves a lot of time. Uh, cardstock also no it's not cardstock um, corrugated cardboard the smaller pieces then we have leaves and uh, bees birds toadstools butterflies tickets and these this is also uh, a lot more in here. Uh, I have labels right. and in, because there's a lot in here then I have smaller bags. These are all this kind of label where there's something on on there. It's not just a, an empty label. It's more like an, uh, a ready-made uh, uh, decoration and for example these smaller ones with all kinds of images on them so they don't get lost in all what's all in here so i made yeah things i think that uh yeah look a bit alike these are all elements all all kinds of die cuts you can use because it's an image and then they're in a plastic sleeve and later they go in here and these are all kinds of things I can use to extra embellish uh, pages and then I put it on here uh, labels that are already printed and die cuts but then I know that there's more than these two but I know what's in there then and tickets I used to have more in one and then you keep on uh, searching for all kinds of things and yeah, it's annoying. Uh, this is uh, a bit of everything, but uh, also I know <laughs> what's in there. This is a, a, a snippet roll I, uh, I made, just a piece of it and yeah, some papers with flowers on, my bingo cards, some stickers. This is more, um, I have lots more of everything that's in here, but this is just all kinds of things I can go through and see, ah, oh, that's something I like, or that's something I like, because uh, everything in here is already sorted in another box, but then this is, I can easily take this with me to my desk and I don't have to have the big container to look through all the things and now I have a collection some faux stamps just to remind me uh, what kind of materials I also have and not have to go through a lot of uh, uh, 
a lot of other uh, containers. And these, I take them out. Um, I once had my own business designing children's clothes and these um, plastic um, bags I used uh, to uh, put my patterns in for sale and they were twice as large. So I cut them down and I have uh, something to seal this shut. So I made yeah, smaller, uh, uh, smaller bags so I, can, I could uh, sort my flowers uh, in all kinds, yeah, the way they um, are meant to be together. Uh, these are completely transparent uh, vellum and these are also pretty uh, transparent. But uh, recently, and that's why uh, these videos are so nice, I saw someone who also did the flowers, the bird butterflies, the birds, they also did them uh, color coordinated, color coordinated. And that's something I'm uh, thinking about if I want to do that, because sometimes I think, okay, I want to use this kind of sticker, but then I have to find the color. Yeah. These are, yeah, I uh, fussy cut them and uh, the fussy cut flowers are uh, a bit uh, in uh, size. So if I'm really looking for uh, a small flower, then I don't have to go all through all of them because yeah, I've got so many. But in a way already uh, way too much. Oh, yeah, when I look through them now, I can see yeah, it's, it's not always <laughs> uh, very good organized. These are with uh, glitter on them, a, a, a bit raised uh, sticker. That's why they are in, in a different uh, one. These are vintage um, tea cards and playing cards. That's why they are separate. And these are all uh, cards, so not fussy cut uh, flowers, and that's with these also vellum ones, and these are also very transparent, but not fussy cut. These are uh, tags and cards with flowers on them, very big one and very small one, ones, and these are very big. Uh, I can use that as a yeah as a journaling card or I can fussy cut roughly around them. So I, I try to yeah make them more like they could uh, yeah. yeah I don't know I don't know the word but yeah I try to to uh, separate them as much as possible to yeah, find more easily what I want to use, but I'm not completely happy with it, but uh, there are too many. That, that's, in, in a way, the, the problem, and uh, it's a luxury problem, I know. But until now, it works, and that's why I uh, keep it that way until I have a better idea, or I get so annoyed that it doesn't work, and then I'll eventually start uh, doing it differently. And these are uh, digital, so I still have to fussy cut. So that's all in here. And I really like that that's something uh, I didn't have always uh, when I started. I like that it, it's a container, I can easily take it uh, where I want to go. If I want to uh, craft downstairs or put it here on, uh, on my desk when I'm working and I can see very well what I have and go through them, but also not just everything in one container, but also then in the plastic sleeves also. Then, uh, this is also such an example. These are all loose items in a way, uh, but they are in one box. So 
I can take one out, but it's not all over my closet. It's contained in this container, so it doesn't uh, yeah go all around in the in the closet. These are uh, fascicat flowers, also uh, mostly digitals, but also from book pages. And this has to be flat because I noticed, uh, yeah, these containers they let's see how they they sold them for the mouth uh, protection now with COVID. And I thought, hey, they're uh, not very uh, thick, very high. And I really like them for storage. Uh, yeah, it's more sturdy than the plastic bag. So I'm really happy with these. Uh, but if you put them upright like this in the, they uh, curl. So I always leave these flat. Then we have this box. It's a bit big, but I was looking for something and I didn't have anything else uh, that fitted better. These are my uh, die-cut flowers, already uh, pre-cut in all kinds of uh, papers and colors. So this is more uh, color coordinated uh, than uh, which flower because I have uh, different sets uh, from uh, Tim Holtz. Oh. They were falling out. And also these uh, plastic uh, sleeves. I cut down other uh, uh, plastic bags I had. I cut them down to the size I thought it fits, uh, it fits nice. And now it's, I have a lot of colors and it's a neat stack. It fits in the box. It was in here first, but I needed this for something else. So I was looking for something new and this is, yeah, way too big. There can uh, be twice as much in there, but this is what I have. So it's okay. And it fits nicely in here anyway. This. I had in a very small container all my uh, die cut numbers, all different kinds of uh, digitals, and I was constantly um, flipping the, the little container over to search for something. I'm not completely happy with this either, and maybe I am going to color coordinate it, but. I don't know if that's really because a lot of them are in the brown uh, colors, so I don't know if that's a good idea. But it's bigger and I can see a bit better instantly what I have and I can always tip it over my workspace and uh, look better. So I can see better what I have. Uh, these are also, it's also that small thin container and in here are also flowers I still have to fussy cut but larger ones uh, mostly from digitals and it can stand up because they're not cut yet so they're not so fragile uh, this is also an idea from Corridane for these small torn strips and she has uh, lots of tutorials where she uses them and it gives a great effect. So in here are all kinds of different paper strips I can use in my projects. These are stamps I still haven't sorted uh, yet. Let's see because I don't know exactly on the top of my head what's in here. Ah yeah, the label. Tracy Fox, I think almost everybody has some Tracy labels. And these I did uh, in color. Oh, yeah, the colors are, uh, these I, I shrunk down. So the red ones, the green ones. So I didn't do the, the small and the bigger ones all red. Yeah, that's maybe something I can still do because this is probably a different digital and then I kept the digital in one place and then 
the brown ones, the green ones, the red ones. But maybe uh, sometime I can do all the reds together, all the browns together. But these are all kinds of labels, all uh, yeah, words. And I also have them smaller words and quotes. And that's all in here. And this, these are the labels original, a lot bigger. That's in here. And in here are uh, stamps, real stamps and flowers. Flowers, I did coordinate that a bit. Also, all, all flowers, but these are uh, sticker uh, stamps I bought from AliExpress. But the first ones were real, uh, these are stickers too. In the beginning, that are real vintage stamps. And these are flower cards, also from AliExpress. And they can be very uh, cute to put in a, just a small pocket. And that's all kinds of things are in here. Then the birds, real, real stamps, sticker stamps, vintage stamps, butterflies. And these are uh, with children on them. So I did try to uh, leave them together so the, you don't have to search that much. I don't use these very often, but it's easier because they're coordinated. And these are all transport, and these are all uh, cities. So that's a bit, but a lot of uh, stamp stickles in here. And then this small, uh, yeah, folder kind of uh, images I printed out from digitals. I think I want to use. I put them in uh, in these sleeves. All kinds of beautiful images from all kinds of designers. And I put the names with them because yeah, I always want to uh, say yeah, whose image it is or did I get it from the internet. So I, I think that this works also nice. I have a lot of more images, but these, yeah, it's a bit more contained. And that's something that works for me. And then the last container on this shelf, it's a larger container, but uh, smaller. And in here are uh, a lot of vintage items uh, I have, but they're uh, bags also, yeah, all kinds of things to remind me. I have bags, I have envelopes, coin envelopes, uh, small vellum ones, uh, vintage receipts, all kinds of colored receipts. Um, yeah, these are smash cards, but they're also nice to use. Uh, these are all vintage items I once bought, all kinds of uh, cards flashcards, bingo cards, and these are also images, but yeah, bigger. I can yeah go through them if I yeah want to use something like that. These stickers that were in the plastic sleeve also, so just a reminder, but the rest is here. These are all vintage uh, pictures and uh, images very old ones, all kinds of things and smaller, but all yeah, images I can use. I have some Tim Holtz people. These are, uh, they were a sort of calling card, uh, vintage ones. Uh, here, full um, postcards. I once ordered uh, at AliExpress, but if, if you age them, they are very nice. Uh, some wallpapers I uh, took from the from the store. I also have vintage uh, wallpapers, but they are in the in the closet. Some frames, yeah, from the scrapbooking days. Some envelopes, uh, 
that were in a, a writing uh, set, and I, I like them. They're very thick uh, card, but I like the designs. And then the Tim Holtz cards in all kinds of uh, sizes, and all with the, the tabs in between, so I know oh, something different is coming. These uh, vellum frames, also a bit from the scrapbooking. And here, that's also really uh, from scrapbooking, all kinds of cards. But they do fit uh, the, the vintage style of uh, junk journaling. And the bingo cards, they're new, but you, you can tea dye them and they look uh, great. These are also some. Uh, faux vintage uh, papers I can use to decorate and they're all uh, music uh, with an image also from Ali so all kinds of items are in here uh, these are sayings I can uh, can use it was a calendar for one year I already have them many years this is a beautiful book about hope and there are very beautiful flower images in them and some uh, um, poems so I can use the images out of there and this one is also uh, yeah not really a quote but something uh, you can think of your there's something uh, read, uh, written here and then you can uh, that day you can pay attention to what's what it says here and then you can write about your day but I I never did so I can use the papers in here like for example today nothing has to be done in a way that's what it says here and then you can write about how you did <laughs> manage that so it, it's a nice book and here are some reinforcers the smaller ones and some of them I inked so all kinds of things I can use to decorate and it's all in here uh, together so I again can take it out very easily and this photo album is completely full on color uh, with uh, real postage stamps The green ones, so all the red ones, so that's completely full of stamps, but also don't use them very often. Then the same flat containers and not, not so wide. Uh, I use for uh, trims, laces, uh, yeah, this kind of fabric real thin beautiful fabrics I did I put them on cards uh, very thick cardstock I wrap them around and then they go in here and the smaller ones so I can go through them and uh, this uh, that the French kind of I don't know exactly how you call that but this this kind of fabric, the very thin, this is cotton and then there's very beautiful uh, embroidered uh, on the edge. So that's all in here. And uh, yeah, real laces, applique uh, kind of laces, very sheer fabrics, but they're all in this container. The colored ones are in here. All the laces, and this is just a piece. But then I put them uh, in color. These are not on uh, on card because it's uh, some bigger pieces, and I just uh, fold them and yeah, put them like this so I can see what I have. And then here are all the, the trims, the beige ones, the white ones, 
and they're all on uh, on cardstock and they're too full so I'm uh, making another container and then have to divide them all on cardstock and all the, the trims are just wrapped around them and then yeah now it's too full but yeah you can pretty good see uh, pretty good uh, what you have because you just have to put it a bit like this and then only the needles get stuck in the other ones but then you can see what you have and yeah what kind you want to use so the white and the beige ones and then the colored ones I don't have that many and yeah I'm still missing uh, some colors because yeah, you s once you start and yeah later on your style difference and gets different and then you, you use other colors because very bright colors I hardly use but yeah I don't want to throw it all away and like I said it, it's all too full so the rest is in here some new ones I uh, recently got so those two containers I have to uh, divide and with all the colors make uh, three containers instead of two and then the second row the second uh, shelf these are all flowers these are paper flowers uh, these ones I uh, I use because I have a complete drawer of flowers but yeah these I go to uh, a bit sooner and that's why they're in here uh, yeah for easy access because a drawer you can't uh, take it out on your desk this is I started with this but yeah it's <laughs> it's very full all kinds of flowers a uh, lot of bolt like this but some uh, are cut out of a larger piece that had yeah a flower like image and you can oh this is uh, something like that it has the the flowery image and then I can cut them out and in here but I know they're all flowers but here is yeah all kinds of things and trims with flowers so it's not really these are in plastic bags uh, in color and yeah this these are just small pieces these I have they, I really like these small uh, small roses uh, some leaves I can cut but yeah this is not more some are in plastic bags so I can uh, see see better what I have but not much more uh, divided here because this is already so full but this these are all the same and, and mostly two flowers in one uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what you call this, but in one corner there are mostly two flowers, so I don't have to search very long. But yeah, maybe this could be uh, better organized, but it's still working for me because flowers are also something I don't super often use. Then my scraps uh, of fabric but I'm not really happy with the, the fabrics I have so yeah it's it's not something some I use a lot if you follow me you know this is one of my favorite things and this but uh, yeah there are a lot of fabrics in here I don't really care for but I don't want to throw them away yet a lot of a lot of that uh, I did. I did throw a lot uh, 
the way because I regularly regularly <laughs> go through all my things and uh, think no, I'm, I'm not using that it, it can go I don't want to use everything I have a big uh, craft room I'm very happy with that I know I'm uh, very privileged to have it but uh, full is full and if I want uh, more stuff something else has to go these are my bits of lace uh, Earlier it was together with the fabrics and that didn't work at all so I made another container with just uh, the laces and that worked very well because laces is, are, are something I use more often. Um, let's see and then I have um, also but they are more in the back of my closet some uh, extra. They are in the lace containers I showed you earlier, but this is uh, yeah more in the in the same color, and they go in the way back in the in the closet. So if something is completely used up, I can uh, yeah replace it with from those containers. And The same with this very large box. You can hardly fit the camera. It's completely filled with all the uh, laces and fabrics with the embroidery. Uh, yeah, that are uh, left over because a lot are uh, five yards or some are ten yards. And on the cards in the containers I just show you, uh, mostly is one yard or one and a half yard. Uh, yeah, to start your that that I can see what I have altogether. I don't need uh, five or ten yards from everything uh, at hand. Then in this small one, and it's all. In the closet behind me so I can easily take it for all kinds of bases I can use for uh, as tags as uh, journaling cards some I already made a master board and cut it up uh, some I um, put this is vellum on a printed vellum on a card and this is also from the master board and some I paint it. I don't do that very often, but all kinds of uh, tags and, and pieces of cardstock I can use as a journaling card. Then this is something I didn't do very much and just last year. Uh, leaves and flowers I uh, dried and they are in a plastic uh, sleeve with on cardstock and then I can easily go through them to see what I have and I want to use. And they are in um, also uh, they are in uh, plastic uh, stackable uh, trays in the closet. Then. I have my charms also in these boxes, all the silvery ones, and yeah, some wooden ones, and these are in the, yeah, it's not really, yeah, it's bronze color. And then I have the keys together, the leaves together, clocks, flowers, some very big elements, so they're, yeah, pretty much sorted out. For me to use. So that works fine also. And also, yeah, just they just behind me so I can reach for them. And then these small containers. Uh, this is all my vintage wallpaper. I, I 
once ordered a complete stack and because I want them uh, to lay flat and they're not that much so I can uh, go through them just take them out and uh, go through them uh, and to see what I want to use uh, these are project life cards uh, bigger ones and uh, half ones and I can use them as base for journaling cards or tags. Yeah, that's that. And in the other closet are the rest of my punches. Tap punch, tap punch, uh, tag punch, tap punch. A uh, lot is over from scrapbooking days, but I do use uh, punches sometimes, so I don't want to throw them away. But again, in a plastic container, I can take it out if I don't find what I'm looking for. And these small containers, I can take them out also. And there are the more small punches, also, yeah, mostly used with scrapbooking, but yeah, sometimes I do use them. And this heavy one are, uh, yeah, some paper punches and some uh, border punches, also tags. Oh no, it's uh, for the tag topper, to make the tag topper. I recently got that. And, but mostly these are edge punches. Edge and corner punches. And the flower punch. But also mostly used uh, when I did my scrapbook. Then I have a folder or, or a, yeah, a binder, yeah, binder, I was looking for the word, a binder, and in here are my printed uh, digitals, and the tabs say uh, backgrounds, uh, ledger and receipts, and then I put the names in the sleeves from the designers, the blue, and so I completely coordinated so I can find very easily what I'm looking for. Script with lace, uh, what do I have? Oh, advertisement and book pages. I also have them, some of them uh, in digital, uh, florals, wallpapers, and then some designers, yeah, because I really like them. Uh, yeah, like Ruby and Pearl is one of my favorite. And then I have a complete collection uh, in one tab. So I can find it and I know this is one collection. It all goes together and it have, goes well together. So I have some of those and yeah, all, all my digitals are uh, easy to find and accessible. So I, this is something uh, I really like also. Then these binders are yeah, folders more. I have uh, a few. And in here are uh, harmonica. And in here are all kinds of papers and then I can put them separately. Uh, tracing paper, vellum, uh, onion skin, uh, from a coloring book, uh, also transparent, but uh, from a book, so with all kinds of designs on them. Um, wrapping paper, uh, craft cardstock, uh, mixed media paper, all kinds of papers. And some uh, folder like this, I also have uh, with just um, coffee dyed paper and then it's uh, coordinated in thickness or uh, has a de design on it. Some have dots on uh, coffee dyed on them or a doily or something and then every 
yeah, how do you call it? Everything is in a separate uh, compartment. So it's also everything is to to find things uh, more quickly or easily. And in the third one, uh, I all have all kinds of images, and then the the tab say uh, toadstools. Uh, uh, animals, uh, flowers, birds, uh, old, old images from books, all kinds of images I yeah, may want to use in a, in a project, old tea cards, and things like that. And I really like these uh, to work with. And this, but also this is more from the scrapbooking days, but there are still things in here, stickers or, yeah, I might want to use uh, now with collaging or something, but I hardly do, but I don't want to get rid of it because, yeah, maybe when my granddaughter is a bit older, I can uh, craft with her and then maybe I use this kind of stuff. And then I have uh, three of these uh, uh, maps uh, with all kinds of uh, alphabet stickers. I have so many and also in scrapbooking I use them not enough but I still have them and yeah, I don't want to throw them away as of yet. And I, I, I want to try to use it in... Uh, in the junk journaling also, instead of uh, stamping, I can uh, use the alphabet uh, stickers. Then I have uh, these three, two binders, uh, also always behind me in, uh, in the closet. This first one is completely full of tea dyed paper, also an harmonica uh, folder and uh, this is a normal 80, uh, 80 GSM, uh, some are tea dyed, some are coffee dyed. Then uh, I have uh, a paper and that's more, more fibers, has more fibers in it. That's why I have them separate. I coffee dyed 120 GSM, 200 GSM if I want uh, to make uh, journal cards already from the coffee dyed paper and then here in the back is graph paper, lined paper, um, some are with uh, doily prints on them, something like that. So I have all the uh, coffee dyed or tea dyed paper in one binder because I use it a lot. So that's handy and it goes in the left uh, closet. And this pretty chunky folder, it's completely stacked with all kinds of papers. Yeah, it's in Dutch, but uh, encyclopedia papers, uh, Dutch text, English text, other languages. Um, this isn't a theme, so uh, text uh, pages from books, but uh, about birds, or about flowers, something like that. Children's books, music paper, map, ledger, uh, hand, yeah, script paper, lines, uh, graph paper, and some vintage and bingo. Yeah, it's all, all kinds of things. But it has, and braille paper is in here also, it has these tabs. But uh, I have more, so this is in front at the zero. But I can flip through it because here is the index and I can easily find the papers I want. Um, and they're all torn out of the books uh, in the bookshelves. So I thought it was handier than if I want to uh, use a map page than to take out the book, tear out a map page you can do that, but I thought this uh, is all complete and 
yeah, at hand, more at hand. But in here, there is already so much uh, that I don't find it uh, very easy to work with. And lines. Um, so I'm thinking because, yeah, that's the beauty, like I said before, that's the beauty about, um, yeah, these are some vintage uh, wall coupons and some real vintage papers and documents. But, yeah, like I showed uh, uh, in the video in the right uh, closet is more uh, real vintage paper. But like I said, this is yeah too much to be um, handy. Uh, and I saw that, uh, from some people they have a box with all with all kinds of papers in it, or uh, kind of a, a, a mail stand to put some uh, papers in. I'm not really sure how I'm how I'm going to do that, but then I want just uh, a few. So I can see these are the papers I have, and uh, when they're uh, used up, I can fill them from this folder in that box or in that stand, and then later from the books. But, but now it's yeah, it's too much. I don't I yeah I don't have to when I need a, a music page or a, a braille paper uh, when I have one of two. Of each at hand is I think more than enough because this folder is uh, chunky but heavy also and it's not something uh, yeah you check out very easy yeah in a way it's it's way too fully packed for uh, easy access and you can see by my hands it's um, it's 13 inches, but with the map paper it's 15 inches, so it's it's huge. So that's a storage solution. Uh, this um, is okay. I I yeah. Until now, I always use it like this, but now I'm um, feeling more and more that I need some other solution. And then, and that's mostly with all my uh, storage solutions. I see something else. Uh, and if I think I can improve, I'll try that for some time and uh, see if I like it. And otherwise, I'll go back to what I had or I will change the organization uh, method and see if that's, uh, yeah, then, then that's better because I tried it out. Okay, on to the next. And then. Um, my last storage are three of these uh, binders. They are especially for this kind of stuff, for stamps or dies. And I only have uh, stamps in here. And you have little sleeves or big ones. They go with the, the folder or the, yeah, I don't know what you call it, but this kind of bag. And in here are all kinds of stamps. And yeah, like that I have uh, three of these. But like I said, I use stamps uh, not often. I, a lot of them I bought at Action, so they weren't very expensive. But that's why I stopped uh, buying uh, stamps. Because I use them not enough, just the, the script stamp and the swirl, uh, swirl, that's something I really like and that's why they are in the drawers in the closet, like you will see later on in the, the tour of the, of the room. And uh, yeah, to throw everything away, I, I did a lot of, I brought a lot of things that I didn't use to uh, to some schools here in, uh, in my uh, town. But yeah, every now and then I'll clean up and see what I don't use or have, haven't used a uh, since a long time. And then uh, those things will go to the schools. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, now I will... Uh, 
uh, continue with the tour of the uh, of the room and then explain the other drawers and uh, storage I have there. This is the <clears throat> entry from uh, the hallway upstairs into my craft room. But in this craft room I also uh, keep memorabilia, things I really uh, enjoy having around me, uh, photographs, uh, some souvenirs that are very dear. So yeah, and in the big closet are all my craft supplies, but also um, the Christmas uh, or Christmas stuff and all kinds of things extra because it's a big closet. But yeah, it's all things we uh, uh, regularly regularly. <laughs> oh my God, what a word! Uh, yeah, constantly use. Then if I, I just get, um, gonna give you a tour. In the corner right, there are uh, books, but all so down, completely down uh, uh, at the ground. There are um, books I got it uh, for maybe uh, using the covers from those books for uh, journals. And the rest is vintage books, children's books, foreign books, uh, botanical, birds, music, all kinds of books I can use in junk journaling and some books I also want to use as covers. Uh, yeah, foreign books, some books I read uh, the last couple of years and didn't uh, uh, recycle or uh, brought to the second hand book shore, uh, store. And up there are some memorabilia and those I don't know exactly what you call them in English but I collect them. Here are some more. I really like them. So they are in this room also and here are some pictures and souvenirs that make the craft room a bit more homely. And I'm gonna walk here so I can film my large table. It's pretty high so I can stand there. Uh, I do also do uh, my laundry folding here but also if I need more space than my table I don't have to clear my table completely. I can use this as a workspace. And there is my Gemini, my electric die cutting machine. The small card on the right is completely full with uh, fabrics. The two smaller ones uh, I'll show you later is um, uh, bags, cardstock, paint, uh, sewing supplies, some uh, my envelope punch boards, kind, that kind of stuff. Uh, one drawer is completely full with glues and tapes and in the Top one, but I will show you uh, better later when I can take things out. Are my dies? Let's see where I am. All my dies, but I will make a close up. Those two smaller bins uh, one is with scrapbook paper in design, and one is in scrapbook paper um, in one color. This is a very large bin with fabrics, smaller pieces of fabric, and I use them too little. I find it difficult to find um, fabrics that uh, fit my project, and then often I don't know exactly what I want to do with it. So that's, that's a bit difficult. I'll close that. And these four drawers are two for clothes. And the bottom ones, I'll show you. Yeah, if I can open them. One is uh, pretty uh, full of old fabrics, and over there uh, are my uh, laces, vintage doilies, uh, sheer fabric, all that kind of stuff. 
And this drawer is completely full of all kinds of fabrics I can use for decorating a cover or just using pieces. Also, uh, Christmas uh, fabrics are in there, so it's completely full. Let's see if I can all fold it. <coughs> Uh, that were the dies. Yeah, here are the glues and tapes. I use a lot of. Uh, this is not plastic. It's from IKEA, from fabric, but um, like a container kind of of thing uh, where I can put things in that they don't fall over the place in the in the drawer. Here's the cringe and. Uh, Envelope punch board. The envelope punch board I use a lot to cringe hardly. These are yeah just some sewing supplies and things I still have to mend. So it's uh, all kinds of things draw. Here are my cutting uh, reserve cutting plates and my paints. Paints I don't do that much. Here also some cardstock all in downstairs. Oh uh, down in the drawer. This envelope is. Completely filled with all kinds of bags, paper bags, and these. Oops, I'm swaying. These are sheer fabric uh, bags. Yeah, this is completely full of uh, all kinds of fabrics. Uh, this card is all. Different. I'll go on my knees. I like this because you can really sort things uh, accordingly. So there is not too much different stuff in one drawer. All uh, brown packaging paper. I have lots more just for the grabs. These are colored ones or white ones, but not browns. All my doilies. Yarns. I use them also uh, too, way too little. Sorry silks and also some appliques. Don't use them very often. Also, and now I really don't know why I chose uh, such bright colors. Uh, sorry appliques are often like that, and I think they're very beautiful. But it's not really my style. But sometimes I uh, I do use them. Bling from the scrapbooking days, but I do use them sometimes. Glitter, I don't want to throw that away. Maybe with when my granddaughter is older, I can craft with her. And this is also from scrapbooking uh, letters, wooden letters and numbers. And in here is hardly anything. <laughs> and then, like I said, uh, some plastic sleeves and cardstock for uh, using for covers if I want. And then all my books that I can use for pages. Return. And this is the three door. I don't know. I'll open one door. And then I'll go like this again because otherwise. And I'll open them later. I have to see how I can put my camera. It's also from IKEA, the drawers. And then here in all plastic bin so I can see what's in there. All scrapbooking of the um, junk journaling supplies. And up there is just uh, storage. But this is mostly what I use uh, the often. And then this left door is yeah, mostly storage, 
but here in the in these are my uh, stamps. I'll show it later when I'm sitting on my desk how uh, it's in all plastic sleeves. All my real vintage uh, books and documents, and yeah, my uh, travel iron. But I use it for crafting also. And here in these plastic drawers, I have two, but not all of them are full of crafting supplies. There's also storage again. In here are my ink pads and my gobbers. In here are all my embossing folders. They're just in there uh, loose because yeah, it's a pretty narrow, uh, not high, uh, not not narrow, but not a very high um, draw. So I can easily find what I'm looking for because there are only embossing folders in there. Flowers, hardly use them, but yeah, it's a bit hard to throw them away. I use them in scrapbooking, also not very much, but yeah. Maybe I will. Completely full of all kinds of envelopes. The big ones are in the bottom of the drawer. So I don't have to collect anything anymore because there's more than enough. My beads also use them too little, but I uh, already have them uh, from a very short period of uh, necklace making and uh, earrings, so I always uh, kept them. Yeah, that's storage. Mm. And this is full of cardstock, real thick for uh, yeah, making covers. And some uh, uh, frames. So that's it. This side. And the middle door, I go over the plastic bins and when I sit down. The third, the right, uh, right door of the closet, closet is it's not very visible. Let's see if I, yeah, if I put the lights on. Uh, my yarns, because uh, I did uh, make clothes for a pretty long time. So I have a lot of uh, thread, machine thread. My buttons, both uh, containers. My uh, napkins, hardly use them because yeah, I still have to try. I never really tried it and it's still on my to-do. That's uh, in this container is all kinds of extras. Uh, I have it. In the middle closet, what I use very often, and what's left is in here. So if it's in the middle closet, if it's used up, I can take it out of that little bin what I need. My Big Shot, I got it uh, for free when a store closed, so I was very happy with that. Just so don't use that a lot. I'm not into mixed media. Uh, my washies. And this part is still uh, for scrapbooking. And a smash book I never used. And plastic sleeves, all kinds of things. The, these are the thicker yarns for the machine. And this basket is full of paper pads, six by six. Um, these ones are magnets. I use them a lot in scrapbooking. That's all scrapbooking. And these are, uh, I can uh, show them more closely when I sit down, uh, are my sticker. Uh, on, the, on the left there are stickers and uh, my digitals are in there. Uh, one folder is with all kinds of images I might use for scrapbooking. And uh, one folder is completely filled with all kinds of other papers, onion paper, craft paper, all kinds. Here are special papers. Also, just a few on top. 
because down there is scrapbooking again. Let's see. And then two bins full of punches. It's heavy. I can show them better when I sit down. No, it won't go back. <laughs> and this large bin also dies. And these smaller ones also. But most of them uh, I used in, uh, in scrapbooking. And down here, also all kinds of paper, completely sorted. Uh, photo paper, lined paper. Uh, one tray is completely full of all kinds of plastic I can, uh, can use. All completely full of papers. Sorted by color, the blues and the greens. The reds and the yellows, I think, yeah. So, green, yeah, these all all kinds of colors, and they're uh, sorted uh, a bit, and these are beige browns, and then I've sorted the colors uh, by thickness because there's thicker cardstock because it's left over from when I was scrapbooking, and now I also have thinner papers in colors and that's also in there and these are papers i use for printing the the three on the on the bottom a cream one a white 120 gsm and 200 gsm that's what i like to use for my images and then i have a complete stack of black cardstock for scrapbooking and then this is also a punch for making uh, five different uh, sizes of holes. I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna set up at my desk, or I can show my desk. The sewing machine is on a card and I can see where my hand is. I can pull it out and when I'm sitting at my desk I just have to turn and I can use the sewing machine. It's an idea from Corrie Damen. Uh, she had it on a different card but I had this and I thought hey I can use that idea and I'm really glad because now I don't have to, it's, it's a very old sewing machine, very heavy so I don't have to uh, take it out and put it on my desk and, and my desk is completely free uh, for crafting. An extra light, my cutting mats, the glues I use all the time, the stand for my tablet if I, if I need to. Uh, this is a TV screen so I can, uh, when I'm filming, I can see what the camera, my uh, Tablet is filming. This is something. Oh, I bumped into this. This is something I just trying out. The rack, if it's yeah something I like, so I have some extra storage and the paper trim I can go underneath. And if I like it, uh, my husband will make uh, some. Uh, yeah, make it kind of like this, but then uh, from wood and that it uh, fits more with the table. And here are hanging close to me so I can reach everything I need. Uh, on the left, a paper tissue roll, my heat gun, some labels I often use, uh, pinking shears, normal shears. Yeah, all kinds of things. My um, uh, tape I use a lot, and in the little bin are yeah things, glues, uh, yeah a nail file, kinds of things I sometimes use, and it's handy that I just uh, can reach it. 
and I have a stand for a phone, but I have a construction I made myself. I will take it here. It looks like a a basket, and yeah, it's <laughs> it's not beautifully made, but I don't really mind. It's very effective, and I just hang it. Let's see if I can do that with one hand. So it hangs on the phone stand, and my tablet can uh, lie in there, and then I can adjust it. Oh, uh, above my uh, crafting mat so I can uh, can film. I forgot uh, to show you one thing that most people struggle with uh, also and it's um, take this out again a plastic container because I really love it for all my dies for the die cutting machine and uh, I put them like this so you can easily, a bit more easily go through them. Uh, I start with my flowers, then uh, for example, um, rectangular shapes, uh, then the square shapes come. And that's, yeah, the way I did it to, to make it for me a bit handier, the ovals. Then the circles come, and then the, all the special uh, things. And everything, just these from Tim Holtz, because there are in beautiful sleeves. But the rest, I bought uh, at a, a very uh, low budget uh, store here in, uh, in the city or in the Netherlands, the Vibra. They sell uh, magnetic. Uh, sheets and I cut them to size and put some cardstock behind it for more uh, stability and these sleeves I also made myself because I have the sealer uh, I have it so I can make sleeves uh, yeah the way the size I want so every die is like this Let me take some other out here are some tags. In the beginning, I used uh, thicker cardstock to put uh, the magnetic, uh, and they're glued on. The magnetic sheet is glued on the cardstock so it's sturdy. Some tags, and they're all in these sleeves. No, I don't know where it was, but it doesn't matter. And I can go through them, and when I look, in there because yeah when you look you, is, this is what you see and then you see the shape so you can easily go through them and there yeah I have a lot already <laughs> and some swirls but for me this works really well and it's in a drawer uh, beneath the die cutting machine so I can open the drawer go through look for what I, uh, I want to cut and then uh, put it back again and yeah it works really fine i hope you found this uh, video helpful maybe you got some ideas for your own storage that would be great and as always thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel if you like this video i would love for you to subscribe give a like or a comment i would love to hear from you and i will see you next time Bye-bye.